Hello, my name is Kurt, and today I will be talking about how to deal with being an introvert. Now you guys might be saying, like, what the hell, like, how would you know what being an introvert is like, you know? Like, maybe people that watch my videos, they think I'm so extroverted because, oh, you know, he's so energetic, he's so talkative, like, he's so, his body language shows that he's so into it and he's such an extrovert. But, but that's really not the case, like, the thing is, not many of the people that watch me on YouTube know me in real life. If you knew me from in real life, it's a completely different story. Um, YouTube is pretty much the way I kind of get all this solitude out of me, so to speak. You know, like, I've been an introvert for as long as I can remember my whole life, pretty much. Now, I mean, just look at me. I'm a 22-year-old person with interest in pipes, cigars, collecting coins, and I've talked to 70-year-old men because I find conversations with them more interesting and thought-stimulating than with people my own age. And I spend 95% of my time alone, pretty much. Now, let me give you some examples for those who still don't believe me. Um, when I was a kid, I was in like first, second grade or whatever, and this happened like all the time. It wasn't just a one-time thing. I did this every day. I would go to school and like, for example, I had to urinate at like eight o'clock, right? I had to use the bathroom. I didn't ask the teacher. I didn't feel like asking the teacher. So I would pretty much hold my urine in until 12 o'clock, which was lunchtime. And at lunchtime, you could do whatever you want. You know, you could go to the bathroom without asking it. And to other people, it may be as simple as, oh, you know, you need to use the bathroom. Ask somebody, you know, it's no big deal. You'll be relieved and, you know, you go to the bathroom, you relieve yourself, you'll be okay. But me, it's like, well, it's just, screw it. I'd rather wait. I don't feel like asking anybody. <laughs> I go, you know, I just didn't like talking to people very much. And um, another example from my childhood is one time I had this surprise birthday party. I didn't know it was going to happen and my family just pretty much burst through the door and started saying happy birthday and they had all their gifts and, and like they were so excited or whatever and I, the second I saw them, I ran as fast as I could into the bathroom and I locked myself in the bathroom. I didn't, I didn't give a crap, you know, I, I didn't like interacting with people. I wanted it to go away. That was my thing. Like, just run away, lock yourself in the bathroom, and eventually they'll get pissed off or whatever, and they'll leave. And then my mom had to, to just, like, talk through the bathroom door, like, oh, you can't do this. It's very impolite. You know, they came here to, like, celebrate your birthday, and you just lock yourself in the bathroom. Like, you can't do that. I didn't care. I just stood there. It wasn't until she bribed me. She had to, like, literally say, oh, I'll give you a slice of pizza, or I'll give you a toy or something if you come out. That's when I did, but if it wasn't for that, I would never, like, leave. I didn't care. So, um, those were examples of my childhood. And, um, you know, everybody thought, I, I have so many more examples of my childhood, but they're so embarrassing. I would never share them on video, you know, it just, being an introvert is not cool. Like, I mean, not cool, but it's just, it's like to live life the way you have to, like you sometimes go to, no, through situations you don't want to like, other people wouldn't go through. Like an extrovert wouldn't go through the situations an introvert would. Like, like I said, an extrovert wouldn't run in the bathroom and lock himself in the bathroom just because he didn't want to be around people, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, those were examples of my childhood. I'm not going to share like a million others, but I do have a million others. and. Um, now everybody said oh yeah he'll grow out of it you know like he'll man up you know eventually he'll learn like school or society or whatever will teach him that oh he has to you know kind of be outspoken and just deal with society or deal with people and <laughs> i still find it funny till today because that's not true like you never grow out of being an introvert like that's something you can't change like you know like other people say oh yeah you know you gotta change you gotta play sports whatever i did martial arts like many times when I was a kid and even like recently too, like a couple of years ago. It's like I just, I liked the martial art itself but I didn't like interacting with people. I'm like, I'm like, you know, if I could I would learn it from a book by myself instead of just going there and like 
having conversations with people and just like it was annoying to me like i said there's things that i like but i avoid because i just don't want to get into social interactions with people it's weird i know but that's just how i am and i know there's other introverts and other people like that just just like me out there you know and people think we're weird as fuck you know and they're like oh he's a weirdo he's he's a loser like the hell is wrong with him like why doesn't he want to like speak to people or whatever but that's not the case man anyway I never grew out of it. On the contrary, it kind of got worse, actually. Um, as you know, like, I, I smoke pipes and cigars occasionally and stuff like that. So, now let me give you another example first. Like, let's say I have a package that has to be delivered to my house. You know, I know it's going to be delivered. So, I wait until I hear a doorbell, right? And as a normal human being, instead of running like to the door and answering the door because the doorbell is ringing and picking up my package because I know it's the mailman what I do is instead of running to the door I run to the window <laughs> I run to the window and um, and I wait I wait and I see the mailman slamming the doorbell over and over again like in hopes of me coming out or whatever and receiving my package until he finally gives up and just leaves the package um, leaves a package at the front door and just leaves and I don't go down yet no I wait until he gets in his car and he drives off and then when he's out of my view that's when I slowly stroll down the stairs and that's when I pick up my package and quickly run back inside to open it and um, yes I'm 22 years old and this is how I still react to situations as you can see I never grew out of it and like I said, it's 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 funny because, um, as a pipe and cigar smoker, I'm not I don't really really don't want to get into detail of this hobby or whatever. But there's aromatic pipe tobacco and there's English blends, Virginia blends, and stuff like that. Pretty much aromatic is what it sounds like. It has a very pleasant smell. Not only does it have not only does the pipe tobacco have a pleasant smell before it's smoked, but when you're smoking it, the smoke smells like. Uh, berries or vanilla or honey or like whatever it's like the best thing ever and if anybody you know uses hookah or whatever they know what i'm talking about but the thing is with hookah it's like very sickly sweet and that's all you taste you don't really taste the tobacco in pipe tobacco the tobacco is strong so it's like you taste the tobacco and you taste the flavor but you smell a little hint of tobacco in the smoke but it's more of an overpowering flavor scent, you know? So I, I enjoy this, you know? So I walk around in public, you know, smoking my aromatics, right? Or light, uh, mild-bodied cigars. Mild-bodied cigars are not as offensive an odor to a non-smoker than, let's say, a full-bodied cigar. But I'll get into that later on. So anyway, smoke aromatics in public or whatever. And then I always had constantly people coming up to me. Because I would pass by them and they would smell the smoke. And they'd be like, whoa, what are you smoking? Like, that's the best thing I ever smelled in my life. Like, like what is that? What, Like, all this stuff. And then I had to strike up a conversation. So it's like, here I am trying to be alone, just walking. And then, like, and I'm unprepared. The thing is, when I'm unprepared for conversation, it's even worse because I get nervous and fidgety and all this stuff and I don't like that type of stuff. If I have to talk to somebody, I kind of plan it out in advance. <laughs> so this is like spontaneously, oh, constant people like of all ages, women, men, oh, what are you smoking? What are you smoking? Blah, blah, blah. So I, I constantly had to talk to strangers. I'm like, oh my God, like I can't deal with this stuff. Same thing with mild cigars. It's like I'm walking and it's like, oh, you know, like, they, they didn't mind, like, sometimes they struck up a conversation, but, but not really. But anyway, so I, I devised a plan. Now I load my bowl with English tobacco or Virginia tobacco or something that has such a highly offensive odor to non-smokers that when they pass by me or they're anywhere near my vicinity, they run away. Because English pipe tobacco smells like a, like a campfire um, mixed with like I don't know how to explain it. it's a very smoky type of like a campfire like a tree burning or something so so 
and yeah, and also full body cigars. I do that in public too. So it's like a very highly strong cigar odor that that scares people away. I use it as a deterrent pretty much. It's not that I don't like people or whatever, just I don't I'm not a person that likes to socialize, you know, so like I said, like to me, instead of, you know, smoking aromatics and having people attracted to me, I'd rather them just walk away or whatever and leave me alone. So that's what I do. <laughs> it, it might be a jerk move to do, but that's just who I am. And I learned to deal with it. And, you know, a lot of people, I know there's a lot of people out there that are introverts. And probably a lot of people that are watching this video right now are introverts. And extroverts and, and just regular people in general, they don't understand us because they're like, what the hell is wrong with that person? Like, why doesn't he go out? Why doesn't he do this? Whatever. Like, they think we're weird as a thing. So that, I don't want to, in this video, I don't want to talk too much about me personally or whatever. But the only way I could convey what an introvert is like is by sharing examples from my own personal life. Then people that don't know what an introvert is or like, you know, when they always thought of that weird kid or whatever, they didn't know what his problem was, well, that was his issue, like, he's an introvert. It's not an issue, but it's just a personality type. And, like, over time, like, I try to change myself, constantly forcing myself into situations, trying to constantly um, force myself, like, to do these things. But it's like, deep down inside, it's like, I hate forcing myself to do stuff I'm like why the fuck should I conform to society why the fuck should I care what other people think I could I don't give a shit I'm not hurting anybody why should I force myself with all my willpower to do things that I don't want to do that's just not natural you know that's the way I am from from a kid I was always shy like why should I change that not why but it's like you can't change that no matter how you force it it's a personality type that's just who you are you know and um and yeah it's just so difficult like sometimes you know because my ideal evening is not going to a party or not socializing not doing all this stuff that other people do my ideal evening is grabbing my pipe putting on a silk or satin robe grabbing a book on philosophy occult metaphysics astrology whatever and just puffing away contently in my comfortable robe while reading a book you know that's it I also like fantasy stuff and, and video games when I was a kid I always played fantasy type based video games you know like Legend of Zelda and uh, Neverwinter Nights and uh, Baldur's Gate, Gauntlet, um, things like that like things that gave you an adventure you know like one of my favorite games of all time was Dark Age of Camelot you know that's an MMO but um, it was so great you know I really enjoyed as a kid immersing myself into these worlds where I could be a hero with a sword and shield or, or a wizard with magic powers that like fights dragons and stuff and like you know like saves the princess or whatever you know I really like that type of stuff that was very appealing to me like I played other RPG games and stuff like but I really like getting lost in the medieval type of fantasy I don't know maybe I'm an old soul maybe that's an explanation you know like everything kind of points to it i have the hobbies of a senior citizen for god's sakes um you know so maybe i'm just an old soul maybe introverts are all old souls i don't know but anyway i would constantly get lost in fantasy because i never saw the point of playing like other video games like shooters and stuff like or or um sports games like i didn't understand the point of sports games i'm like why the fuck would i play a video game where i play a sport when I could just go outside and do the same damn thing you know like I liked things where I could get lost in the fantasy world like I can't be a knight in shining armor fighting dragons and casting spells in real life you know so that was very appealing to me whereas it was stupid to me to play a sports game when I could just go outside and do that in real life I like things that that got me away from real life pretty much <laughs> And yeah, it's the same thing, like like I said, I don't want to continue talking about myself, but I want to give more examples, and then I'll get into how to deal with it and how to incorporate that into your life, so bear with me here. Now, relationship-wise, I'm going to get into all phases of introversion here. Relationship-wise, I had girlfriends and all this stuff, and um, I don't regret any relationship, like I don't mind, you know, good, bad, whatever, it was what it was, life goes on, I appreciate everything, but one thing they didn't understand, like most of my girlfriends were younger than me, you know 
and um, like I understand the point of view of a woman you know because women like going to the movies women like going shopping not all of them but you get my point and it's like I was constantly like kind of forcing my like because they see me like when I like somebody or when I'm into somebody I talk to them like in an extroverted manner I have body language like I'm confident and I just don't stop talking if I like a girl like I will talk to her for like forever as long as she keeps talking to me you know like if she keeps the conversation going back and forth it'll keep going like unless I'm not not, not really kind of into her like like the, the way I am it's like the girl has to make an effort um to kind of get to me you know it's like like I am your stereo like not stereo I'm your like I don't know I don't I don't I don't know I don't want to get into that too much but whatever so yeah, I had all these girlfriends or whatever, and then be like, oh, let's go to the movies, and I absolutely hate the movies, like, I don't see the point, like, why can't we just go to the beach and, like, hold hands and talk about life and the universe and, like, the waves crashing on the shore, like, who knows what kind of life is deep beyond the sea that people never see, you know, what the fuck am I gonna do in the movies, watch a goddamn action or a horror flick that doesn't even scare me, horror movies don't even scare me because I went through much scarier shit in real life from a cult perspective or just regular shit like you know you watch the exorcist you see that freaking girl with her head like cracking and stuff like i've seen shit like that in real life not like obviously as graphic or as intense but i've seen some stuff in real life and scary movies don't scare me they make me laugh i'm like whatever you know so i don't see the point in being in a dark room with a whole bunch of other people screaming and crying and like sweating and eating popcorn or burping or whatever like i and it annoying and like also my girlfriends wanted to take me out because they thought oh yeah if he's so talkative with me he's so extrovert he's such a like great guy with me like he's obviously like that with everybody else so I would kind of force myself to be somebody I like I wasn't in public you know like one-on-one one-on-one with a person that I like like I am very extra like not extrovert but i talk i socialize i enjoy their company whatever but if it's somebody with somebody that i don't know or i don't want to be with or whatever i don't i just don't give a shit so um and yeah that's why i make these youtube videos too because it kind of like it breaks me out of my solitude and it makes me get a lot of stuff off my chest and then share with other people and help them through the same things that i'm going through so they're not alone they see oh you know this like he seems like an extrovert but he's really an introvert oh he gets where i'm coming from like he's like you guys could progress in life too like i'll get into that later don't just think you're weird or or give up or whatever but anyway um i would go like she would take me to her friends or whatever and i'll be like i don't want to talk to these damn people like they would talk they would try conversations with me They're like oh you like Jimi hendrix oh you like jimmy page oh you play guitar how long have you been playing and i keep it short and sweet to the point like I'm, i don't see the point in small talk with somebody i don't really know or or i'm a very good judge of character anyway of people like i could just look at a person i know everything about them like it's this empathic sense that i have like this connection with people that's very weird like i already know their intentions so it's like i already know like what's gonna go on so whatever so they're talking to me oh yeah i play guitar for this many years oh yeah i like hendrix oh i like jimmy page yeah blah blah blah. and that's it and like i don't give a shit like if they stop talking i stop talking i'm perfectly content just sitting in the corner just minding my own business and um anyway i kind of disliked that because it's like my girlfriends wanted me to go out or whatever but it's like i was betraying the person who i really was like i was forcing myself to do something like that i that i really wasn't you know like like fuck society fuck what everybody else thinks like what i have deep down inside is the way that i know i'm most comfortable with living so i don't like kind of doing things that i don't like like it's the same shit with everybody like you wouldn't like for example if you don't like eating sushi you won't eat sushi because it tastes nasty it's self-explanatory like you could try you could test it whatever but after trying sushi 20 times and it still doesn't work for you and you still don't like it and you can't learn to like it then you know you hate sushi and you're gonna avoid it it's the same thing with being an introvert you try you try you try you force yourself into these things like i took martial arts and all this stuff and like I like the martial art itself, but I hated interacting with people. Like, I would much prefer to learn yoga out of a book or, or this and that. Like, it just, I was going against my true self, and I didn't like that in every aspect. So, 
you know, relationships fell apart or whatever. I just gave up. I just gave up. I'm like, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. I'm not going to betray who I really am inside for somebody else because, um, like, unless, you know, like, I'm... Like, I'm, I'm a major introvert, but I can deal with it. Like, like I could hang out with, with my girlfriend's friends and stuff and whatever, whatever. But if they constantly want me to do that shit, like, every day. Like, I need time to recharge. That's the problem. I need time to be alone. I need time to just read my book and drink my coffee and just chill the fuck out. Like, I can't be around people all the goddamn time, you know. And a lot of people don't understand that. Because most of my girlfriends were extroverts, which doesn't make any freaking sense. But I seem to attract extroverts the most. And, like, deep down inside, that's why I like, from an astrological standpoint, that's why I like women who are, like, more sensitive and, like, Pisces and Scorpio and, like, the deep emotional type of things. Because that's the way I really am. You know? So, eventually, I just stopped giving a shit. You know, there, there might be girls that are interested in me or whatever, but they kind of have to make the effort... <laughs> Like, if I talk to, if I, if there's, a, if there's a girl that I like, um, I will talk to her, you know, like, I'll socialize, I'll go back and forth, you know, we'll have a conversation, it's all good, you know, but I'm not gonna force myself, like, if they ask me every day, like, oh, what did you do today, oh, how was your day, like, oh, how's everything going, like, I don't really know what to say, because, like, oh, my day was great, oh, you know, yeah, like, whatever. They, I think they expect me to say something interesting and, like, fascinating. Like, oh, yeah, I went water skiing and almost got attacked by a shark or whatever. Like, my daily life is just, just chilling out and just doing regular stuff that people just find boring or whatever. So, how am I supposed to, you know, do that? But whatever. That's beyond the point. I've been rambling too long, but you get my point from a relationship perspective and all this stuff, whatever, from a social perspective, from all these perspectives, you get where I'm coming from. Um, you kind of understand what an introvert is like. So, um, how to deal with it? Well, just be you. That's all I could say. Just be you. Just, just be content with who you are. If you knew you were an extrovert, I mean an introvert ever since you were a kid, then that's just something that's going to stick with you. Don't feel isolated. Don't feel weird. Don't think you have to conform to society and do what everybody else says. Fuck them, you know? Like, who gives a shit, you know? I, I was always a cat person, you know? Like, I never I never had, like, like, a cat for an extended period of time because my parents don't like cats. But I always had dogs, and, like, dogs are cool, but, like, I don't know. Dogs are too, like you know peppy and, and happy and all this stuff for me like I like cats man like I was always a cat person and I had cats for um, like temporarily pretty much and it was awesome I was like super happy but I have to wait until I live on my own or whatever until I can buy myself some cats and then I'll be content with life you know but um you know it's just just be who you are like screw it if it doesn't work for you then don't do it you know the shyness kind of grew into hatred as i grew older you know like i, I watch people like a lot of times i just sit in public and i watch people and like most of them disgust me like i feel sick to my stomach literally because i'm in new york or whatever just walking around I see people just, like, not giving a shit about everything. Like, they don't seem to have a thought process. They're drinking their coffee, talking on the phone, business suit, whatever, blah, 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 all right. You know, like, they keep going, chasing the money, chasing the fucking um, uh, material possessions and all this shit. And I'm like, what's the fucking point if you're going to go into the dirt like everybody else? So, you know, the, the main thing of society is whoever dies with the most toys wins. But nobody fucking realizes that you leave all the goddamn toys behind and you can't touch them, you can't have them, you can't cling on to them. They're gone, man. You could have a mansion, you could have millions of things, but you're going to leave that all behind. So what's the fucking point of acquiring all this stuff anyway if it's only going to temporarily make you happy, you know? But anyway, that's not the, the only thing that pisses me off. I just see people just walking around, just like, I sometimes think, do they think about life? Do they think, like, what the fuck we're here for? Do you think, like, maybe be morphed out of, like, aliens or something? Like, do they not give a shit? You know, do they not feel? Like, I'm sure they have emotions, they have relationships, whatever, but it seems so superficial to me. I see their fake smiles. I see their 
their their the the fakeness in their body language like so ungenuine like i said i'm very good at at, at feeling out people and i could see this so i spent a lot of time watching people and it's like it's like i can't be like them you know it's like and i like one hand it's like i don't want to be like them but you know, on the other hand, like, you're kind of grown, or you, you're kind of thrown into this belief that you're supposed to be like them. You're supposed to be a successful member of society all the time. Fuck it, man. Don't, don't worry about it. Like I said, it grew into hatred. Like, I kind of, I don't want to say hate people, but I avoid them as much as I possibly can. Just because I hate being human myself. I hate being stuck in this goddamn body, you know? I hate being, I hate all the nasty, you know, do you know how nasty human beings are? We pollute the earth. We fucking destroy everything around us because we think we're so great and we need to survive. Well, you could survive in a goddamn hut in the forest and grow your own food. You know, you don't have to destroy everything to build a massive building to earn paper, green paper that has no fucking value anyway besides the point that the government or people give the value to it. You know, it's stupid. It's freaking stupid. This hatred of being human, like, you gotta piss, you gotta defecate, you gotta, you bleed, you know, everything rots as you get older, and it's like, fuck pain and suffering and all this crap, it's terrible, like, I see this shit, and it's like, I see how terrible it is being a human, so to speak, so it's like, I don't, I don't understand how everybody else is just so jolly and content, like, they love being human. Oh, embrace sexuality. Like I, I, like sexuality is cool. Embrace sex. It's such a beautiful thing. Like it, it merges two people into one. It creates life. It's it's the holiest probably experience man could have on this human uh, existence. Making love to a beautiful woman. Like you can't beat that. Especially if you have a body and soul connection. Then then it's good. You know. But it's like, think about how nasty it is, man. It's like. All these fluids and all this goddamn stuff. It's like you're thrusting, well, as of from a male's perspective, you're thrusting a meat rod into a freaking open flesh wound and you're finding it pleasurable. And that flesh wound also bleeds every month. And it's like it just becomes so disgusting when you really think about it. It's like, oh my god, it's like. Ugh. I don't know. I've been getting, I've been getting too, too much of a tangent in this video. I've been ranting too much, but I just want to express what it's like to be an introvert. I know people out there feel exactly like me, and we hate this shit. And I'm trying to explain it because I come off as an extrovert on my camera, so uh, on my videos, whatever. So this kind of helps me uh, release my inner tension. It also helps other people because they can relate. They see, oh yeah, Kurt's like that too, man. Like, like don't worry, like it'll all be okay you know so yeah man just just don't worry just do what you gotta do you know just be yourself don't if you don't like people don't like people you know like me i'm saving up money and like people think oh yeah he's gonna get a proper you know career and all this stuff and like he's intelligent so he's gonna do this and that whatever Dude, I'm saving up money right now to buy myself a patch of land in a desert or a forest and stuff and I'm gonna build myself a goddamn hut and I'm gonna plant a couple of plants and then maybe once a week I'll walk to society to get some coffee or, or tobacco or whatever but other than that I'll fucking spend my time alone just doing my own thing because that's what makes me happy and I'm I'm not gonna conform to what other people think no matter what like I like being myself so so yeah just if you're an introvert do what you like doing um, like it, it's hard in, in social situations like how to deal with being a social uh, with uh, being an introvert in social situations well um, if you have like a meeting or whatever like um, I find tobacco uh, I can't reinforce my hobbies or habits to other people uh, try coffee, you know, drink coffee, drink tea, whatever, something that'll 
get your mind off of the, the situation, kind of get you stimulants. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of stimulants, of any legal stimulant that I could find, like, I really enjoy because it kind of makes me all hyped up and makes me kind of want to express myself. So you could try caffeine. If, if you have a test in school and you're nervous or, like, you have a, a presentation to do, like, you have, a, like, uh, to present something in front of the whole class and you hate that type of stuff, drink a cup of coffee or, or drink a cup of tea and like excuse me and just brace yourself and just like just say once I get this over with I could go home and I could read my books or play my games or do whatever the hell I want you know as long as I get this over with and just kind of just do it if you got to do it just do it um, it's not healthy to avoid things either but I say if that's who you are then just do it like i said if you like being a hermit be a hermit it's your life like fuck what everybody else thinks fuck the parties fuck all this bullshit like everybody thinks oh yeah, yeah i'll party it's so fun whatever drunk get laid blah 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 like it's fucking annoying that's what it is like like i said like if you're like me and you see the disgusting nature of everything so you blend that with a party atmosphere where there's like 10 stinking meat bags around you because that's what i call humans though it's like like you see all these nasty people drunk out of their fucking minds like puking and making out and like dragging girls into rooms and just like the girls just like oh yes blah 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 like fucking whatever like oh my fucking god like i don't i don't understand this type of stuff man like i really don't so like i said you put me in a party atmosphere i see all that nasty stuff you know i see not only do i see like kind of thoughtless individuals i see them getting drunk and more animalistic like even more you know it's, it's so terrible and i'm not saying that's everybody because usually when i'm on a party i find a fellow introvert because like i said i could really really feel out people so i i, I know who's an introvert so i just go up to him I, I know how how he feels or she feels whatever and it's like we could connect so it's like uh, go up to him it's like hey what a fucking lame party right and it's like like dude like you just want to go out and like fucking ditch this party and like go just hang out but like at a forest or something or like you know whatever you know and then, and then we strike up a conversation and like you get through it that's the thing you, you could get through it if you try so be strong and 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 do just do what you love you like music put on your headphones jam out there's so many musicians that, that are introverts too, so you could relate to them as well, you know. And um, just know that you're not the only one out there. And if other people think you're weird, fuck it. Who cares? The, I'm gonna start walking around in like freaking a trench coat. Like when autumn comes around, when, when fall comes around, I'm gonna get a, a black trench coat. I'm gonna get my freaking, I'm gonna get a scarf. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my pipe and I'm gonna fucking look like Sherlock Holmes or like 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 a detective or a mafia person or I'll have my cigar I look like a fucking mafia person I don't care like that's what makes me happy you know and it, that kind of scares other people away from me because they're like oh you know he's wearing a trench coat he's, he looks weird like like oh I don't want to be next to him you know so it works in my favor so do that type of shit if you don't like people find out ways to deter them from you like i said like you'll you'll find creative ways trust me but like i said you can't avoid people all the time you have to socialize whether it's online with close friends have a close group of friends that's you don't have to branch out if you have one friend two friends one friend is enough you know you could vent you could talk if you have a connection like if he's like you or she's like you whatever you could eat they know like oh you know like he likes hanging out in a forest so like i could go to the forest with him or whatever you know You'll find people who are like you. Don't give up. Don't, you won't be alone. You'll be alone together. <laughs> uh, but yeah, life brings you what you need in life. Examples, uh, opportunities, situations that you have to kind of force yourself through to progress, to become a stronger individual, whatever. But like I said, a lot of people say, oh, you know, grow out of it, or oh, man up, or what the fuck's wrong with you, or whatever. Well, you, you're an introvert that's it from a psychological standpoint that's your personality you can change it you could try but no matter like to me it's like no matter how much i try like i said i can hang out with people all day every day of the week but guess what at the end of that week i'll be happy as hell to be away from those people 
and I'm gonna have to just chill for like at least a couple more weeks by myself before I before I go anywhere near people again. I need to recharge. I need to just chill, listen to my music, just chill out, you know. That's it. Find things that make you happy. And just be you, you know. You know you are this way. You know you have to recharge. Then you have to come to terms with that. And the people that you get into relationships with, make sure they know this too. Like, just tell them straight up. Like, listen, I'm, I'm an introvert, you know. I may seem like an extrovert, but I'm an introvert. I like spending time alone. Like, are you okay with, with not going to the movies and not hanging out with friends all the time and just chilling and just sitting at the beach and talking about life and just you and me, like, like merging as one you know just 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 two people like you know keeping each other company and just will you be okay with that you know and if they're not then if if they if they whatever if that's not their thing then don't get into a relationship with them like if they if they might try to fake it or whatever oh yeah i'm an introvert too you know and then they think they could change you know they're like Oh yeah, I'll change him, you know. Like the girl will be in a relationship with you, and then like she'll she'll stay with you for the first couple of weeks at home watching Netflix and watching documentaries or whatever about musicians or whatever, and then like like a couple of weeks after that, she's like, oh come on, let's go here, let's go there, and like like she'll try to bribe you with sex or whatever. Oh, if you go out, you know. If, if, if we go out and see a movie or whatever, like, I'll give you something extra tonight or whatever. Like, like that kind of works for me in the beginning, but now I just don't give a fuck, you know? Like, I don't, I don't care anymore. I don't care about getting laid. I don't care about anything. Like, like I said, my ideal life is just, just chilling out, reading a book, smoking my pipe, and just... Having a companion, a female that understands me and knows me and is like me, and we could both be together and be our own kind of like support, you know, like two weirdos together and just fucking just sit there and chill, you know, and just enjoy life one on one. Like, I'm not saying, like, I I'm a very outgoing person when it's just me and other person. If it's a one on one connection with the girl, like, I'll go with you to. Uh, I'll fly with you to freaking Jamaica and and I'll I'll dance drunk with all the all the tribes people there and or I'll hang out with Rastafarian people Yaman you know I'll do all that shit you know I'll I'll go with you to the beach I'll go with you to um to the forest I'll go with you even to the mall and shit you know like as long as it's you and me, you know, like that type of stuff. As long as it's just two people, that's that's what I crave in life. That's that's what I want in life. Like we go to the mall, like I want to go together. Like I want us to be together even amongst the chaos, you know. We're just like fucking, we're in the mall. Like I could shop with you. It's no problem. I don't mind. But just please hold my hand and just talk to me the whole goddamn time, instead of just like, you know, <laughs> running into fucking people and talking to them or whatever. Like. Like I said, I don't mind, but it's just like, it's like I'm so, I don't know. It's like I, I kind of feel sorry for chicks that like want to have a relationship with me because they have to deal with all this bullshit. But like I said, I know there's women out there that are just like me and I know I could find my soulmate or whatever and everything will be okay. That's why I gave up. I don't fucking care anymore. Like women are attracted to me or whatever, but uh, like even through like the adversities, you know, like I was smoking my fucking stinky ass pipe tobacco or I'm smoking my, um, my full body cigar and, um, they still kind of like choose to strike up a conversation with me or like I ignore them for fucking months on end and they still call me or still text me and like trying their hardest to to get to me or whatever but it's like I hate hurting people you know I don't like like doing that shit but that's just who I am and I tell them in advance I tell them, I'm, I'm like I tell them straight up like if I talk to anybody I'm like listen I'm a shy person like you gotta understand this I'm a lone wolf man that's me I'm a lone wolf like you gotta deal with that you gotta know where I'm coming from you know <laughs> so 
and they're like, oh yeah, he's a lone wolf, that's so mysterious, that's so cool, oh my god, I want that rebel badass to be my, to be my boyfriend, and oh, I could change him, I could make him that rebel badass that, that is cool in front of my friends, and, and all this shit, I won't be fucking anybody, I won't be a goddamn puppet for anybody, you know? It's either you like me and you chill with me and you realize that I want something that's one-on-one. -on -one. Like I said, I don't mind hanging out with your friends. I don't mind doing all this stuff. But you got to comfort me. You got to understand that. Like, listen, like, like, let's just spend time together, man. Like, that's what an introvert needs, whether it's friendship-wise or whatever. Like I said, I'm sorry I'm ranting too much about myself. But, like, I'm expressing what an introvert feels like deep down inside. So... This is how it is, man. So. It's hard, man. It's hard. It's like you have weird musical taste as an introvert, too. Like, you listen to fucking, um, I don't know, like, stuff that other people usually don't listen to. Like, depressing stuff. Or not even depressing stuff, but just, like, like whatever. Like, like that's another problem like there's not much that an introvert can relate with other people and it's kind of like on purpose in a way like 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 who the fuck could i talk about my age about pipes and cigars they don't know jack shit about all they know about is like banging chicks and like this and that like who the fuck could i talk about about like jimmy page's like life or whatever when people like listen to current music you know they listen to dubstep or whatever they don't know jack shit about classic rock musicians you know they don't know shit about cobain you know like they like the, that's the thing like you might know like for example you watch a cobain interview and you see how he's so depressive and all this shit and whatever but they don't know how it's truly like the, the women like especially the women they, they think like oh he's so hot like like oh he's troubled i could help him all this stuff or whatever like like do you know that like you can't change a person like that like like <laughs> it's ridiculous like th that's the problem though with a lot of people they they see the outside you know they see the rock star lifestyle like for example they see oh Co cobain was a rock star you know like he performed in front of thousands of people every night and like he lived a luxurious lifestyle or whatever so he must be you know a very like kind of like cool person a rock star you know like whatever like oh he uses drugs all this shit you know he didn't use drugs to get high he used drugs to because he hated everything and he was an introvert and he didn't give a shit about everything so that was his like shell like i remember watching this one interview where he says like he would get he would use opiates and and like that would be the thing that would kind of make him socialize with people and make him kind of like interact with people that you know and i get that because i use caffeine and tobacco and all that stuff for the same purposes so anyway just this is what it's like to be an introvert it's tough it's a really rough life if you know any introverts out there just just don't don't bother them man just like let them do their own thing and understand them be their friend you know if you realize that they're always flaking out and they don't want to hang out with you whatever don't drop them as a friend don't don't just be like oh fuck him whatever like he's weird like i'll i'll get another friend just just be accepting just an introvert will reach out to you eventually when when they had their recharge time because they need to hang out eventually out in public or whatever so they'll be like like, you know, they flake out three weeks in a row to go somewhere, even to the beach or whatever. But then eventually they'll be like, all right, let's go to the beach. And that's usually when the extrovert or the other person doesn't want to go to the damn beach. It's always some kind of problem, man. But that's just how it is. That was my video on how, how, how it is being an introvert. And I hope you guys learned a lot from it. And you could tolerate the introverts in your life, the cat people in your life, all this weirdos or whatever, and just realize that... So people like may seem to be different whatever like like i said i appear as an extroverted person but i'm a very introverted person so just keep that in mind like when i'm out in public sometimes i'm very talkative very energetic whatever because i'm usually on caffeine or something and it's like oh yeah he's a cool guy like i want to be his friend or whatever and then i i flake out over and over again because i want to be alone they're like oh fuck he's weird whatever you know so anyway just live life enjoy it to the max like i said do what makes you happy if you like just chilling out alone just do it but like i said you can't spend too much time alone either because you'll go absolutely batshit insane um so 
if you got to go into society every once a week or whatever just do it get your time in society and then go back and just do what you enjoy that's the whole point of life just live it and you will find people like you and you will find everything you seek in life you just got to continue just don't change who you are ever don't fake who you are ever you are who you are that's it and people will accept you for you who you are like you'll find a girl that that understands you and is like you and both of you like could live happily together and shit and like just you know like it's all good you know just introverts stuff happens slower for us you know like an extrovert like he'll go out he'll get a job he'll progress in careers like he'll get like the girl of his dreams like super quick whereas an introvert just passing waiting waiting you know it takes forever avoiding situations whatever you even avoid situations to meet you know your ideal mate but that's just how it is it'll happen one day just have faith be who you are that's it hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned and i hope kind of supported the introverts out there and allow the extroverts to see what it's really like to be an introvert and to accept people like the, like that in their lives all right take care guys